G'day and welcome back to Spearing the Menu. Andy Hallam coming to you from the cliffs of Point Addis in Victoria. But this week we're taking you north again to the Coral Sea where we're back on the trail of the mighty dog tooth tuna. So come and join us in the pristine blue waters of the Coral Sea. Alright, we've got Tony Morrison here from the Townsville Skin Diving Club. How'd you go, Tony, at the Coral Sea? Oh, look, we had a fantastic trip there. Yeah. You know, weather played the game for most of it. Yeah. It was beautiful, clear water. Some really quality fish landed amongst yeah. the guys that went out. And, yeah, top trip all around. Yeah. You got a good doggy yourself? I uh, didn't get the big fish I was hoping for, yeah. but got a doggy and a couple of job fish. Yeah. That was sort of enough fish to catch for the trip. Yeah, so and three fish in four days diving? Yeah, so it's, it's still a good trip when you're doing that blue water diving. You've yeah. got to put in the time and effort to yeah. get your shot at a good fish. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like about diving out the Coral Sea? Oh look, for me it's the opportunity to dive in some really crystal clear water and to be able to target some big game fish, whether yeah. that's dog tooth tuna or wahoo. You know, any of that sort of ilk. It's a spot where you can go and be reasonably sure there's fish around yeah. and if you put in the time you know there's a chance you'll get a shot of a, yeah. a real good fish. Yeah. It can be a lot of hard work for not a lot of returns at times but yeah. that's part of the diving and when you're diving in an environment like that it's still good. You know, it's beautiful, yeah. spectacular sea life you see out there. Now there's a group of people that want to lock down the coral sea to any sort of fishing. Mm. What are your thoughts on that? Oh look, for me personally, and I know for a lot of the divers up here, it would really take away what is a special opportunity to get out to a pretty spectacular area. The, you know, as you've seen from the trip, the sort of diving we do, we don't take a lot of fish in terms of numbers. Um, like I was saying, you've really got to put in the effort to have a chance when you're targeting those fish. And to lock the whole lot up would really you know, take away a pretty special spot. It's a, for me, it's a bit of a pinnacle of spearfishing and freediving, yeah. just to be able to go to those sort of places. Yeah. I can see from my experience with the GBR Marine Park, personally, I see merit in multiple use marine parks, yeah. where you have some areas set aside for conservation, but other areas open to extractive use. And if that sort of approach was taken with the Coral Sea, you know, just speaking for myself, I'd be fine with that. It still provides guys with the opportunity to do these trips, to get out there, target the good fish, but ensures there's some areas that are kept aside. Yeah, kept pristine. Yeah.
So I've got some tuna down here. First, this dish is uh, pretty simply um, tuna fingers uh, with sesame seeds around it. So the first thing I want to do is get my tuna and just cut it into fingers. And you want to make them equal, equal size just so they cook evenly. So. Now simply just uh, coat your tuna in the sesame seeds. And then we'll bung that in the fridge just to cool down for 10 or 15 minutes. So I've got the uh, tuna out of the fridge now, so it's just simply into the oil. Probably only need about a minute each side, just turn it once. Put enough, enough oil in there to go about halfway up the sides of the tuna, so you only need to turn it once. So I'll come back to that in about a minute now, and turn it for another minute and it's done. Okay, so these have had enough, so I'm going to take them out and just rest on some crumpled up absorbent paper, just to drain some of the fat off. And then serve them up. Just gonna serve them up by themselves with a little bit of chili jam. I think they'll go well. Okay, well that's a, a pretty Quick uh, tuna recipe there for you. Um, how do you think I went? Yeah, it looks really tasty. Looks good. It'd be a yep. nice little entree, and then if you served uh, the whiting after, it'd be fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and if uh, cold beer with this and nice yep. white with your, your fish, it'd be, be great. Good. You're set. Exactly. So um, Shane's tasted Brandon's dish, so he's going to come in and taste mine and see how it goes. I'm staying out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to run second to a qualified chef.